Hello fish lovers and welcome back to my channel. I have noticed that something was missing from my skimmer and I didn't realize that for about 8 or 9 weeks. So if you remember guys I got my skimmer back in England from a friend. I got it from uh, for free but it was second hand and didn't have all the original accessories on it and it was skimming uh, a couple of days a week I disassembled the, the skimmer cleaned the cup put back in it was skimming maybe that day just a little foam was uh, collecting down in the, cup, in the cup but after that there was no skimming going on and I thought that uh, maybe my fish are small my tank is big so there is nothing to skim I do not uh, feed uh, a lot of food for, to my fish so yeah okay it, this is uh, the maximum foam that this skimmer can produce so I just let it be but now I I, I tried to really get to the bottom of this uh, this problem so I think about it and my skimmer was missing the little valve that you can uh, um, tune or fine tune the air. <coughs> excuse me. You can fine tune the air intake to the skimmer. So my skimmer, my, my skimmer pump just had the hose going outside, and no valve was attached to that hose. It was just sucking in air like crazy. But I know that brand new skimmers have. Uh, some valve to adjust the airflow to the pump. Mine didn't have that, so I found uh, an old uh, pump that I have, an old filter, which has a hose with that same uh, valve that you have to, that you can uh, fine tune the, the air intake. I attach that to the, to the hose, to the air intake of the skimmer's pump and gently twisted that little valve and my god that skimmer is working great now so let me show you what I'm talking about uh, guys so this is the 10 year old filter that I had laying around the house and this little filter has a little valve right over there you can see it that one that valve you can adjust the airflow to the pump like you can see right here you twist it from left to right you see it number 10 number 10 air filter and flow adjuster yeah so my skimmer didn't have this air filter and flow adjuster because I got it for free and it was second hand so let me show you now you can see the pump over there the pump is great it's running very good that's the pump this is the hose with the intake air and you can see right here guys you see this is the the valve that i was talking about let me put the, the flash on to see it better okay now you can see it it has a little screw in here so if you screw it in less air is permitted to enter the hose if you screw it out more air will go in so let me tell you what this basically does I screw it in a little so less air goes into the pump if you got less air going into the pump more water will come out of the pump and into the skimmer's body so this is what I was lacking guys water into the skimmer's body and now check it out so remember this is basically one hour ago so you see it a lot of foam is there with some uh, particles that were in the water and just to to tell you guys 
this is the amount of skimming that I have in my skimmer uh, at any given time of the day. So even if I let the skimmer run for one week or two weeks, it never got past this uh, this level of uh, skimmate and no foam, wa foam was produced into the cup because the water was just sitting too low. Doesn't matter how, how much I turn these valves in here, this is the uh, output water that is flowing out of the skimmer's body. So this, if you see this knob in here, if you turn it like this, it's going to restrict the water flow. And the same goes in there. I did that to the absolute uh, minimum water flow coming out of the skimmer and still didn't have enough foam produced in here. Because it wasn't getting enough water from the skimmer's pump because it was re, uh, drawing in too much air. So too much air coming into the pump through that hose, this one. If you got too much air in here, there will be less water getting into the skimmer. But now, because I have finally figured it out and attached it to that uh, that valve that regulates the water flow. I finally have a working skimmer. So yeah, I think it was working worth doing fine with no skimming. But you see how the foam rises up gently and it overflows into the cup. So I am I'm, I'm hoping that I am going to see a lot of improvement in the skimmer in a couple of days and I will do a video about that when this uh, the skimmate will reach maybe that much. Yeah, I would love to see a, a half of cup full of skimmate. Maybe this way you can see the cup is really generous, it's big, almost close <laughs> to the top. So this is uh, and underneath that is my tank. So now it's working, working nice. I'm really happy and I will post an update with the skimmer maybe in a couple of days or a week or so just to see the, pro the progress of uh, skimmate into this cup. You can see right over there a lot of debris under the foam. I like it. The foam should be uh, yellow around here. The white stuff should stay in the tank and the yellow, the yellow dark stuff should go in the cup. So I am aiming for uh, that color in a couple of days. Yeah, it's working, it's working fine, it was just a little needle valve in there that was missing and making my skimmer run inefficiently, but now it's running great and I just want to wanted to share this with you guys and I did. <laughs> yeah, okay, thanks for watching guys and uh, have a great day, bye bye.